Okay, dynamic spine tuning. Dynamic spine tuning is simply tuning all your arrows so that they all react exactly the same. Now, the importance of this is we want, you know, we don't want to have favorite arrows. We want to be able to trust every arrow in our quiver, right? You know, and a lot of guys will have, well, I know this arrow hits and this arrow hits and this one doesn't and this one does. And this is extremely true with crossbows. Uh, crossbows push an arrow pretty hard and I, I think a lot of the crossbow uh, bolts in the industry are, are pretty weak for, you know, specific bolts. So um, the same thing applies. If we get a, you know, if we get a right tear, we're going to get a left broadhead or we're going to get a left, you know, with a fill point, it's going to pervasively, you know, go the opposite direction. So we want all of our arrows tuning the same. So simply with dynamic spine tuning, we are going to go through all of our arrows. You know, we're going to paper tune the four arrows and then we're going to go through and we're going to rotate, we're going to shoot every arrow. We're going to shoot every arrow through paper and we're going to rotate knocks until they all rip exactly the same as these four arrows that we, that we pre-tuned and that established as our tune. If you're pushing the arrow really, really hard spine-wise, you're going to find it a little bit difficult. If you're properly spined, you're going to see that this is uh, pretty easy to do. Um, the shorter the draw, the less you push an arrow, the more you're going to see the consistency here. Now, there's a lot of people that claim you can, you can statically spine test arrows with a spine tester, and that's going to make them more consistent. Um, I 100% disagree. I've tried virtually everything from floating to spine testing. And I have run this test here correlated to a shooting machine, okay? So a shooting machine pretty much takes all the variables out. You know, what we're looking for, what we as archers and bow hunters are looking for is same hole accuracy. That has to be tuned into a setup, okay? Once we shoot every arrow and rotate knocks, until we get the same dynamic reaction, or the same paper tear. This is simply just going to ensure that every arrow is coming out of the bow exactly the same. If they come out of the bow exactly the same, they're all going to hit exactly the same. And that's very important when you're dealing with broadheads and fixed blade broadheads. Now, one thing I want to bring up on this, if you're shooting you know, a field point that's three quarters of an inch long and you're shooting a broadhead that is two inches long, this is going to change, okay? So when I know that I'm shooting, say this year I'm shooting a thorn broadhead, or let's say I'm shooting a rage broadhead or a kill zone, um, I use a bare match point, which is a longer field point, and I do this dynamic spine tuning with that longer point because it is fundamentally going to change this reaction. And it sometimes can be pretty severe. It's basically the same as shooting an arrow that's another inch and a half longer. It's going to change the reaction. So it's very important to try to match the dynamics of what you're doing, okay? So it's a very simple process. It just requires shooting arrows through paper. Um, if you do have access to a shooting machine, you know, that does it just that much better. I may pick up one or two or three arrows that maybe I, you know, missed, in, you know, through paper. And when I'm looking through this paper tear, okay, I'm looking for even tears on the paper, okay? If I get, you know, one, for example, that it kind of looks like a bullet hole, but I got a little bit longer tail over here, and sometimes there's, there's a carbon mark on, on one side of the hole or the other, you want to be meticulous with this. You want to make sure that you know, you've, you know, I'll get to the point where I'll rotate through all four vein positions just to find what is most optimal. And the more meticulous and the more time you spend with this, the more accuracy that you're going to get out of your arrows.